La Salette, is a beautiful place in France with mountains, hills, valleys, lakes, meadows, flowers, plants, fruit trees, high pastures, streams, waterfalls and snowfalls. Grenoble is a city in southeastern France, at the foot of the French Alps where the river Drac joins the Isère. Located in the Auvergne Rhône Alps region, Grenoble is the capital of the department of Isère and plays the role of an important scientific center of Europe. The city advertises itself as the capital of the Alps, due to its size and its proximity to the mountains. In 1846 the village of La Salette consisted of eight or nine scattered hamlets. The population was about 800, principally small farmers with their families and dependents. On the evening of Saturday, September 19, 1846, Maximin Girard and Melanie Calvat returned from the mountain where they had been mining cows and reported seeing a beautiful lady on Mount Sue's lay bases, weeping bitterly. According to their account, she continued to weep even as she spoke to them, first in French, then in their own dialect three, of Occitan. After giving a secret to each child, the apparition walked a hill and vanished. Moving to the facts and figures of the apparition of Our Lady at La Salette. One needs to know the circumstances that contributed for the apparition. Industrial development increased the prominence of Grenoble, through several periods of economic expansion over the last three centuries. This started with a booming glove industry in the 18th and 19th centuries, continued with the development of a strong hydropower industry in the late 19th to early 20th centuries and ended with a post-World War II economic boom symbolized by the holding of the ex-Olympic Winter Games in 1968. The city has grown to be one of Europe's most important research, technology, and innovation centers, with each fifth inhabitant working directly in these domains. So, France gained a rapid growth in all the sectors of their economic, social and political sphere. However, very unfortunately the country started declining in their day. Once the country gave birth to thousands and thousands of saints, now they started to doubt the existence of God. Symbolism. Our Lady of La Salette appeared to the two children Maximin and Melanie in 1846. She brought with her a message of peace for all people, explaining what mankind must do to get back into her son's good graces. The apparition of Our Lady of La Salette is steeped in symbolism. The Symbols Bright Light, the apparition of Mary radiates with bright light. The light signifies the light of the resurrection. Her clothing glows with light just as those of Jesus on the Mount of the Transfiguration. The crucifix, light also shines from the large crucifix Mary wears on her breast. The religious cross represents Mary's mission from the foot of the cross to give birth to the world in the faith. Hammer and pincers, on each side of the La Salette crucifix are the hammer and pincers which are the tools of the passion of Jesus. The chain, Mary wears a chain around her neck symbolizing the sins and injustices of the world. Roses, roses are around the edges of Mary's shawl, at her feet, and crowning her head. These represent the rosary which leads followers of Jesus along the path of the Catholic cross to salvation. The following messages were given by Our Lady to two children. Melini Calvan and Maximin Girard on September, 19, 1846, while tending their cattle on the mountain of La Salette. Come my children, fear not, I am here to proclaim great news to you. 
If my people will not obey, I shall be compelled to loose my son's arm. It is so heavy, so pressing that I can no longer restrain it. How long I have suffered for you. If my son is not to cast you off, I am obliged to entreat him without ceasing. But you take not the least notice of that. No matter how well you pray in the future, no matter how well you act, you will never be able to make up to me what I have endured for your sake. I have appointed you six days for working. The seventh I have reserved for myself. And no one will give it to me. This it is which causes the weight of my son's arm to be crushing. If the harvest is spoiled, it is your own fault. If people are converted, the rocks will become piles of wheat. Do you say your prayers well, my children? Ah, my children, it is very important to say them, at night and in the morning. When you don't have time, at least say an Our Father and a Hail Mary. And when you can, say more. After giving them these messages, she concluded saying, My children, you will make this known to all my people. She then walked away, up a steep path, and disappeared in a bright light. The children repeated the story to each of their employers. When the people ascertained that the stories matched, and several pious people concluded this had been an apparition of the Blessed Mother. The case was then submitted to Bishop Brillard of Grenoble, who initiated a thorough investigation of the apparition. Meanwhile, more miraculous cures occurred. The greatest miracle was truly spiritual. People started to attend Mass faithfully and confess regularly, they stopped working on Sundays, and they returned to living a pious and devotional life. Pilgrimages to the site became increasingly popular. Five years later, on September 19, 1851, Bishop Brillard determined that the apparition bore in itself all the marks of truth and that the faithful are justified in believing it to be certain and indubitable. A real conversion of the people had taken place. The following year, a new religious community was founded, the Missionaries of La Salette. Also, Bishop Brillard laid the cornerstone for a new basilica. Pilgrims increasingly visited the site of the apparition, and Our Lady was referred to as Reconciliatrix of Sinners. Great saints have been devoted to Our Lady of La Salette, including Saint John Bosco, Saint John Vianney and St. Madeline Sophie Barat. God is inviting us to wipe away the tears of Mary, who constantly weeps for our sins.